Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another unboxing video for you today. If you guys enjoy my videos whatsoever, please hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment, even if it's just to say hi, uh, just so I know you're there. But uh, yeah, we're going to start cracking into them. Uh, one of the packages is something I bought from a company months and months ago. I, I almost forgot I ordered it. And uh, some stuff I got sent from different companies. And the first one I'm going to be opening up today was sent to my P.O. Box. Uh, this one's coming from someone named Tom, and um, I'm going to open this one up first. Hopefully I can get into it easily, because it's all like, it's really taped up over here. And um, anybody that sends anything to my P.O. Box, my address is down below, and I'll, I'll, open, I'll always open up the, the packages on video for you guys. So let's see what Tom uh, has sent today. It's like a, you know, it's a little, little envelope, but let's see what it could be. This one's been sitting in my room for a little bit, so I'm sorry it took me a while to get to it. But, um, Master, it says. Not sure, let me... It looks like there's a note in here first. Is that a knife? But, uh, looks like we have a little note here. It says, uh, Brendan, enjoy your YouTube videos, uh, but, uh, keys are for opening doors. Try this. And, oh, for mails, instead of using my keys... Tom, uh, right here, I guess he sent me a knife to open up packages with instead of um, using my keys like I do, but I, I do my keys thing because it's, it's a, you know, it's safer than a knife, but someone sent me, or Tom, sent me a knife, I'm kind of stupid, I might like hurt myself with it, but I got sent a knife here, which may come in handy for, uh, one or two of these packages I have right here. So, Tom, thank you for hooking me up with a knife here. Hopefully I'm not dumb enough and, like, hurt myself with it. Because, you know, I'm not the smartest person on the planet. And I can't, I can't, even, close them. I can't even close this thing. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it off to the side over here. So, uh, thank you so much, Tom. Uh, over, the next package here is coming from one of the companies that send me things to showcase on video for you guys. I'm not sure what company it is yet. But uh, we shall see. Oh! This is coming from DreamWorks, and it's Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh, this one's also been sitting sitting around for like a week or so, or even maybe maybe longer, uh, on the on the floor, not on the floor, but you know, by my bed, so I can you know show, open it up on video for people. And the Kung Fu Panda movies, I really kind of enjoy at least the first two, uh, from what I remember. When the first one came out, I was all about it because I, one, I like Jack Black. Two, I love martial art movies. You guys know that for watching watching my videos and stuff, like going to the Dragon Fest conventions and you know things like that. Even my old my martial art teacher when I was a kid, for a little while, uh, was Benny the Jet Ukides, uh, who was in like you know Jackie some Jackie Chan movies was like fighting against Jackie Chan back in the day, before I even knew that when I was a kid. But uh, I love me some martial art movies and in animation form, the Kung Fu Panda movies are always a lot of fun, and I have yet to see this one. And I know this one's out in stores right now for anyone that wants to. Get your hands on one. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much, DreamWorks, for uh, sending me a copy of it on Blu-ray. Really, really super thankful for that. And uh, I can't wait to watch it, man. You know what I mean? I, 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 love, the, I love those movies. Skadoosh. This right here was a purchase. Something I bought, like, three to five months ago. And I completely forgot I ordered it until I got sh a shipping notification uh, from this company called Terror Vision. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting sent this to talk about or anything, but when I saw that these ones, these movies were being released, I just had to get up on it. And let's see if this knife works. Oh, this, ooh, cut right open. Let's see, got a, I'm using, I'm using Tom's knife. Ooh, I got to cut away from my body. Don't cut towards myself. Ooh, okay. I cut it open. So let's see what's up in here today. Kind of excited for these ones. Um... Oh, we got some stickers. We got some Terror Terra Vision Ghost sticker uh, that came up in there, and some other advertisements and stuff for Terror Vision. They're like a, a boutique label, you know, like kind of like a Shout Factory, Scream Factory, whatever you want to call it. I think they're like a part. Uh, they used to be, I, I think, partner labels with uh, Vinegar Syndrome, if I'm not mistaken. But each each uh, Blu-ray here is like individually bubble wrapped, which is kind of cool, and like a little bubble sleeve. And, they, and I'm glad I was able to get these movies with the slip covers, and uh, I believe these are the first time first time you guys can get these movies on Blu-ray, and that is the ga Game of Killers. 
the martial art uh, film from back in the, I believe the 70s if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it comes with a cool so I slip case. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Yeah, 1978, uh, this one came out right here. It has some new interviews in here and an interview with uh, Barry Chan and stuff. I think that's kind of rad, man. I love me some martial art movies. Love me some good martial art cheese. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't remember if I have this one because different movies, you know, when I was collecting martial art movies at Suncoast back in the day, when they were being released, like, they were, like, under different names. Like, sometimes martial art movies would be called this or, you know, like, they would have, like, alternate titles for different martial art movies. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if I've seen that one. I might have seen Game of Killers, but I'm not sure. This one, I don't think I've ever really seen. And it says, I know, I know they newly uh, remastered this movie from their, I think, their original film Elements. And uh, it stars Sam Seed uh, right here. And that's the old Kung Fu master. Uh, this is the guy that, you know, uh, starred alongside Jackie Chan in the original Drunken Master movie uh, from, you know, back in the day. And uh, this one I know I've never seen before, but any, pretty much anything... With, uh, sometimes the people call him Simon Yen, Sam Seed, and things like that. That's not that's not his real name by any means, but that's like what uh, his name goes goes by in, in the groups and uh, different things throughout the years. And his American stage name, and it has like you know alter, alternate artwork on the inner sleeve right there. Newly newly remastered, a movie I know I've never seen before, but from the trailers I've seen online, it, look, it looks like you know some goofy fun. Uh, for me, I, I always love me some, like I said, martial art kung fu goodness uh, right here. And these ones I bought from uh, terrorvision.com. Uh, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't, I didn't get these to review, but when I saw these go up for sale, I'm like, got to give me some of my martial art goodness, man. Got to do it. Got to do it. But uh, this last box, this last box right here is coming from Severn Films. Uh, this one right here, I, I, I don't think I've ever gotten any review product. Uh, from Severn Films before, and if, it, if I did, it might have been in the early days of um, me doing these YouTube videos and stuff, because, um, you know, I, I, I just can't remember when the, when the last time is I got something from them. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta cut on the sides, too, here. I gotta use Tom's knife. Boom! Let me see here. Gotta cut away from myself. Let's see. Come on, Tom. This knife, bam! That knife, that, man, this knife cuts like butter! Cuts like butter! Okay, ooh. Yep, it is what I think. It is what I thought it was going to be. There's a bunch of packing peanuts in here and getting all over my floor right now. But um, super excited right now. Super, super pumped. Uh, Severn Films sent me the box set of something I've been super pumped for since I saw they announced this. And that is the Game of Clones, the Blues Exploitation box set, volume one. This is super killer and it's out right now if you guys want to get it online like i believe it's on amazon and sevenfilms.com and things like that and this features like a, a handful of um uh movies from the bruce bruce lee uh exploitation uh era like when bruce lee passed away you know uh, back in the day after making what four films and making a little bit of a fifth one of game of death or whatever he passed away and after that there Hollywood or people in Hong Kong were really trying to recreate Bruce Lee's image and they were hiring people to be Bruce imitators and there was a whole bunch of movies that came out with people trying to act like Bruce Lee have like Bruce Lee names but you know spelled differently like Bruce Lee with uh, L E instead of two E's Bruce Lai, Bruce Low, Bruce Le you know like all, all these different you know actors came out of you know came out of nowhere and there were people were imitating Bruce Lee because you know people you know wanted more Bruce but they, they couldn't because he passed away and uh, seven films acquired a, acquired a good amount of the of those movies that these people made after Bruce Lee passed away you know weird fun cheesy you know uh, martial art movies and this 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 uh, is a seven disc collection including 12 12 uh, kung fu flicks right here with you know different Bruce Lee impersonators and the Enter the Clones, the Bruce Lee uh, documentary, uh, talking about like you know the Bruce Bruce Lee and all the people that came after him, trying to act like or imitate him, you know. And I'm so so excited and pumped uh, to check out this set right here from Severn Films, and I really do appreciate them for sending this on over uh, for me to, to talk about for a video and stuff like that. I love love martial arts, man. I love the martial arts uh, genre uh, of movies and things like that. I should, really should have stuck with it with me as a kid 
But you know, back then, you know how you know how when you're a kid, you know, you're like, Mom, I want to play baseball. Mom, I want to try. I want to do. I want to do martial arts or karate or whatever. You know what I mean? Like kids always like they don't. We don't, we never never really know what we want to do. I I wonder. I wonder. I really wonder what would have happened with me if I stayed with it. You know what I'm saying? If I stayed with the martial arts from an early age, but I, I never. I never did uh, actually doing it. But um, obviously, because I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a fat pig. But um, yeah, this right here, I'm excited for it very very much. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys. Uh, have gotten this set right here. It comes with like a booklet, you know, like the 12 films in there on uh, seven, uh, seven discs in here, and a documentary. You know, that, that I think that's super cool. I can't wait to dive into this. It's out now. Uh, but yeah, seven films, seven films. If you want to go to their website, you can uh, check them out, buy it from them directly, or you can get it on, you know, I believe like Amazon and stuff like that. Well, everybody, it is the next day right now. And uh, I was going to save this package uh, to open up for maybe like a, a next uh, unboxing video and stuff. But I went down to the to the post office to ship out some packages uh, that I stuff I sold off my eBay store. My eBay link is in the description box. And um, I had this in there sent from someone named David. And from the way it's packaged, it's, it's, I think it's like a picture or like an autograph or something. I'm not sure, 100% sure. But it's coming from someone named David. I still have this knife that I got uh, yesterday when I did the unboxing. But I can't figure out for the goddamn life of me um, how to close it. Like safely. Like I don't know how to, how, how to close this thing. So like it's open but now I don't know how to close it. Like I looked up videos and of like master knives. So like I, I need to figure out how to close this thing. But you know I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the brightest person on the planet. But let's see if I can... Uh, open this and hopefully not damage. But like I'm, I'm just guessing it's like a, some sort of picture of some sort or autograph from like the way it's packaged. Especially since I've you know I get a lot of autograph stuff and I, I know how things are shipped. And I'm just kind of like that's probably what it is. But what is it? You know what I mean? Like what could it be in here? Uh, there was something I sent uh, to PSA uh, DNA to get authenticated, like an old uh, boxing autograph of Muhammad Ali that my dad had from his collection from years ago. Just to get you know PSA on it, and I'm waiting to get that back. But I don't think that's this because it would say it would say PSA like on the shipping label, I believe. So let's open this up and I'll stop babbling and find out what this is. And it's something, yeah, whatever it is, it's in a top loader, and it's in cardboard uh, right here. Oh, okay, okay. I think it is what it, it is PSA because it, it didn't say PSA on the shipping on the shipping label, but. It does say PSA DNA right here, so this is this is my 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 my, my Muhammad Ali uh, thing. So now it's time for the moment of truth to find out to see if PSA uh, authenticated it for me because my dad there was no such thing as authentication back in the day when my dad got these autographs, and I wasn't there when my dad got them. So you know what I mean? Uh, I know my dad met Muhammad Ali multiple times throughout the years. So now is the moment of truth. To find out if this thing was actually authenticated or not, because uh, this is what was sent an old magazine uh, cover signed by Muhammad Ali, right here, the old ring magazine. Uh, originally, I sent this to um, get encapsulated and stuff, but I guess it's, it's the picture inside is too big for that, uh, right there, so it's too big for that. So, I uh, yeah, too big for the encapsulation. But we do have a PSA letter of authenticity uh, right here with the PSA sticker because they, they didn't want to put the sticker, I guess, on the on the, the picture on the you know magazine cover itself. So I have an authenticated um, Muhammad Ali PSA DNA authenticated uh, autograph in my collection. Now uh, it went from something that who knows how much it's worth to something that. A little bit more valuable with a, a letter like this uh, right here. So I'm kind of happy that you know it got authenticated by PSA. It took them forever uh, to to get this thing back to me, but it has a PSA letter of authenticity and LOA, which is always better uh, than you know just a regular you know a, a regular sticker. So I think that's cool. So I have an authenticated Muhammad Ali autograph in my collection. Hell yes! At first I wasn't sure what this was because the the shipping label. On here, it said like someone named David. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was like maybe like a viewer sent something to me, but 
Bam. That's what this is. My Muhammad Ali autograph magazine cover. It's all beaten up. I talked about it before in videos and stuff like that. My dad didn't take the best care of stuff, but it is what it is. It's authenticated by PSA DNA, and I'm happy. I'm going to stop babbling now. I got to put this away so I don't hurt myself or anybody else because I can't figure out how to close this thing. But thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.